said, more will be given to he that feels that he has, and he that feels that he does not have, even what he has will be taken away. Jesus had it pretty much down. It all starts from what you truly expect from the world, what you believe that you have. He that feels that he has, does. But he that feels that he does not have, cannot. But how do you feel thanks for something you haven't felt yet? How do you feel thanks for a Ferrari if all you have is a bike? It's by getting in touch with the feelings that go behind the physical items. Get in touch with bliss. And there you have it. Bliss is yours to practice anytime you like. Mix the emotive feeling of bliss with the idea that your ego would like to manifest. You've got to cherish yourself, not starve yourself. And a cherished person is much more willing to do the work necessary to bring you closer to your goals. And relax in the knowledge that however much energy you put in to creating this idea, the universe will send it back to you. Everything is energy. Match the frequency. It's physics, you know. When you feel thanks for having something, you are with the all-powerful emotions of light and love. Tell the universe that something exists. Think to yourself, what exactly do you want? What could you possibly have in this world that could make you feel any better than you currently are now? After this video, go ahead and list three things that, if you got, would make you the happiest person in the world. And then spend the rest of your life living out the drama of getting and losing these things. The reason I chose to live in a fantastic beach house with my friends was to experience gratitude for breakfast. Also, I'm the king of Atlantis. It just kind of makes sense. A wise man once told me that to get something you've never had, you've got to do something that you've never done. And this sums up manifesting. It also points to the next level of action steps that you must take in order to create the thing that you desire. You cannot gain a full emotional understanding of what the universe has to offer you from your computer chair. You need to get out in the world in whatever way you can. Work with what you've got. Talk about your dreams. Because what you are will come at you. Because essence begats essence. Love creates love. Hate creates hate. Essence begats essence. So get out there and feel something. You need to have emotions now, which will evolve over time anyway. Decide this second, which emotions do I desire? This one, this one, this one, this one, or this one, or that one, or this one, or that one, or this one. <laughs> So, go ahead and set three goals that you are unattached to, <laughs> but which by having would mean that you have everything that you could want in this life. <laughs> now go get them, do your best and be happy and we're here to help. It's a lot of pie. It is a lot of pie. <laughs> so this is the pie. This is the end. Stop. Also, you're going to be speaking while I mash. Okay. Lovely jubbly. There we have it. There we are. Here we go. There's some pie. And then on and out, I mash. Sun, 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 sun.